Hey there, this is Steve Fogg from stevefogg.com. I'm here uh, as part of the Easter conference and I want to help your church get found at Easter online. And in this uh, session, I'm going to show you two different ways you can get your church found online this Easter. Let's dive in. Okay, so here's the first way to get your church noticed online. And there are two different ways, and we're going to go to the first way, which is through Facebook ads. So we're in Facebook Ads Manager. Obviously, this isn't your church account. This is my account. Uh, so obviously, you're going to dive into your own Ads Manager. Uh, if you don't have one, it's pretty easy to set up. Uh, I've got a whole course on my blog if you want to learn more uh, in depth about uh, Facebook Ads. But let's just dive in very, very quickly. Uh, so uh, you just hit Create for an ad uh, and start again. And what we want to do, we want to reach our whole city. So we're going to use a reach campaign. Lots of different campaigns here. But reach, we're going to use because we know uh, how much we're going to pay to reach a city. Okay, and we're going to call this Easter Reach. And so again, this is just on my own blog account. But again, this can be for your church. Uh, this is the whole of Australia. We don't really want to reach the whole of Australia, but we're going to choose a city near you. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can actually choose a city. So let's just go somewhere random. Seattle. Okay, let's choose Seattle. The reason why I want to choose Seattle is because I have a friend who's from there. Uh, Justin, big shout out to you, buddy. Um, and I'm not going to type in Justin, I'm going to type in, type in Seattle. Now, Seattle's a big city. So there's 2 million people there. That's okay. But from this city size, what we can see already in the daily results that we can reach nearly 2,000 people. Uh, and that will be on a very basic, basic ad spend. Now, it's uh, chosen 40 plus here, so we're just going to reduce this down a little bit. You'll see the size reduced down a little bit. So you can do all sorts of things when you're choosing a location. You can choose a city. Um, you can drop a pin if you like. Um, so let's say you're going hyper local, uh, and you want to reduce that more. So you, again. You can go as, now obviously we're going to move that pin, but you can go as loca, lo, local as you can. Uh, I'm going to remove the pin. And the way to do that is just that, just for the sake of today's lesson. Okay, so, um, but I'm going to reduce that down. Again, you don't, be realistic when you're targeting um, people within half an hour to an hour's drive of where you are. Um, so it's 1.4 million people, 590 to 2,000, 18 to 65. So you may have um, already a picture of who attends your church. So I'd recommend you um, think about that age group and just repeat that. Uh, and again, depending if you're English speaking or not, you be English. So um, now you can go in here and do all sorts of um, targeting, but I would just recommend that um, there's a couple of ways you can do an ad for Easter. One way to do an ad, which works really, really well, is to advertise to your church's Facebook page. Um, so what that means is that you're sending traffic to your own people, and they will then engage and share with the content and spread it to their friends. That's one traffic audience, okay? So that's one, what we call one ad set. A second one will be to a cold audience, say the whole city. Uh, so I'm going to show you both ways on how to be able to do this. So to your own Facebook page, it's very, very simple. Uh, you just have people who like your page. And let's pretend this is a church. And off you go. So here you go. So um, yes, obviously my page, and probably not very many people who live in Seattle in my page, but if you're uh, from a city and you're following a page, you're probably going to get quite a few people in there. So uh, that's audience number one. You can do it and link it by page, okay? Audience number two is just literally through what you can see here, which is 1.4 million people. That's called a cold traffic audience, okay? Uh, and so that's going to be one um, or two audiences. Then I recommend that you edit the placements. So this is where your ad will appear. So you want to show the right ad to the right people in the right places. You can show it everywhere if you like, but you're just going to spend a lot more money quicker. So depending on the type of ad that you got, I recommend that you just... Go in, switch all of the ads off, 
anything and go back up to feeds and just leave the feed on okay uh, that's where everybody is on Facebook and again five dollars a day I reach nearly two thousand people potentially so that's thirty eight dollars uh, thirty five dollars a week I can set a start and end date here so again uh, Easter is in mid April this year so we're just gonna go here and we're gonna run it from February it's probably a bit too long let's say early March okay uh, this is obviously my time frame not yours uh, you can set it to run at any time and stop at any time again this is just an idea but really you can have this out running all the way up to Easter okay whether you have uh, special Easter presentations or just your Sunday services which are your Easter services um, again there's something here which is really good which you need to know about in terms of a few campaigns about reach you want to put uh, a little bit more frequency in there so this is saying it's going to show it to someone once every second seven days uh, you can increase that if you like so you can say three or four or five or six or seven don't do it every day because obviously you're going to be paying more uh, and with an ad you want a bit of space in there so certainly up it if you want from that frequency uh, but uh, not one maybe three or four to start off with you can schedule your ads but again we're just going to do this as a very straightforward ad so that's really just a quick run through of how to schedule an ad to reach your entire city okay uh, now if you times that like that that's not going to reach 1.3 million people so that's a percentage of that uh, audience so um, just bear that in mind so always start off with a small bit first because you're going to want to test the ad and see how it's it's going and again just think about the audience if this is a cold traffic ad we're going to go into the identity here so what the ad creative actually looks like you've got different choices here uh, and just for the purposes of this lesson we're just going to choose an image now, I'd normally choose a video and just have a warm invitation on that video for people to church but just for the purposes of this um, demonstration I'm just going to show you how to do a still really quickly so you can choose um, some free stock photos so the great thing about um, uh, Facebook is it gives you free stock photos and again um, you can type in something I don't know if anything will actually appear like this it might not um, so let's here's just something simple uh, again think about your audience have your audience in mind um, when you are thinking about what sort of creative you're going to have um, and again while there's watermarks on here uh, there won't be watermarks on here in the final ad um, so let's just put some text in here you are warmly invited to Easter services at Smith Street Church in Seattle. Everyone is welcome. Free Easter egg hunt. Okay, so I've just made this up, but obviously if you want to reach your city, you've got to do something in terms of that's going to engage with them. Um, so again, this is, this is a family-friendly uh, church. This we're going to put some fam family-friendly activities on here. Um, so I hope that makes sense. And we're going to add a website here. So we're going to just um, uh, mychurch.com. Okay, now this is just pretending. I don't know if this will work because it actually checks uh, and this is a display link if you want something any different so okay this is um, the headlines that will appear at the bottom so you're going to see this here Easter egg hunt you can see that just there um, children's activities So you can see there's just a little bit there and we're just going to also add a button which will add it to you so people can learn more on your church website so again if you want to put some text in there you can this is just I just want to show you how 
uh, an ad can run um, very, very quickly. Um, and again, just think about what sort of text you would use to invite someone along to your Easter services. Um, you can look, have many buttons here. Uh, obviously, probably the most relevant one is to learn more because you want to drive them to a page on your church website where you've got some more information about your Easter services. Okay, uh, you want your Facebook pixel so you can track how many people click through to the church website and you can also set up an audience for that page to retarget to those people as well. Uh, and that is as simple as, as an ad as you'll ever see. It's not the best ad creative of course, but you can kind of see um, how easy it is to create an ad and how easy it is to target your whole city uh, through Facebook ads to f just for five dollars a day. But there's just a few caveats I'd, I'd put in that if it's what's called a cold traffic audience is one, make it invitational. It's not a sermon. You don't, they don't need to come to Christ to click on the ad. Um, make it warm and inviting. Um, and if you're a family friendly church, uh, put some of the benefits of what they're going to have in terms of uh, what will they experience when they attend your church. Um, if you've got Easter egg hunts, if you've got children's activities, whatever you've got, if you've got um, a photo booth, whatever it is, put it in the ad, make it inviting, make it engaging. Um, and, and that's it. That is as simple as it gets to create an Easter ad for your church this Easter. Okay, this is the second way that you can get your church uh, found this Easter. And we're going to just go through how you can set up a couple of Google Ads. So Google Ads are great because people search online all the time. And particularly uh, when it comes to Easter, people are searching uh, much more. So um, there's a few campaigns which we're going to run uh, and get going. But let's have a look at the first one. So uh, this is Google Ads. This is a dummy account I've got up. So you're going to see lots of red in it because I haven't really finished setting it up. But you'll get a, an idea of how to, how to do an ad. So I'm going to do a new campaign. Again, it works differently to Facebook. Uh, but we're going to do a new campaign. Uh, we're not obviously selling someone, but we want to drive people to our website. Uh, there are different types of campaigns that you can run. You can run a search, so when people are searching, display, more visual across different people's websites. Shopping, obviously we're not selling a product or video on YouTube, so uh, we're not doing that either. So this is just a search. So we're just going to set up a dummy one here, yourchurch.com. Okay, uh, I'm going to call this Easter. Uh, churches near me campaign okay so again it's not going to be a display ad it's going to be a search ad okay and we're going to choose Seattle again so we're going to choose another Seattle okay uh, okay that's eight million people but that's the state actually. Let's, let's go Seattle, the city. Um, and I think it's the city. Yep. Okay. So let's say there's six million people. Uh, English, obviously, there. Uh, and we want to spend five dollars a day. Okay. All right. And we want conversions, so people clicking through. And now I've set out some what are called site link extensions. Uh, which will click through to specific areas on the website uh, but you might have a call extension so you might want to add a phone number so people can call you um, and you might want some other extensions another extension i also recommend which would be another campaign which would be a location uh, extension so what that would mean is that um, uh, if your church is uh, a location on the, on the map and you've got a business account uh, in google maps you can actually do an ad in Google Maps. Uh, and that's a great way when people are searching for churches in Google Maps, your church will appear at the top of Google Maps. Um, so, uh, but we're not doing that. We're doing another campaign around another keyword at the moment. So we're going to set up this one and we're going to call it uh, Easter Churches Near Me campaign. Okay, and we're going to say Churches Near yeah. Me. And it's going to give us some keywords, ideas here, and I'm just going to add all of them for the moment. And you can see there's a lot of different 
ones. Some are going to be relevant, some aren't going to be relevant. Uh, now, so we'll add all ideas for the moment. Uh, and we'll save and continue. Okay, so here's we're coming to the ad now. So you can see those call out extensions. So you can keep it fairly straightforward. So let's have a final URL. Now, headlines, we only get 30, 30 characters. So you can say uh, Easter, let's say family, family. Easter services. You can see I've gone over there, so let's just take that off. Uh, let's say Easter egg hunt. So just think about that other ad that we did. Uh, and I don't know if it'll fit, doesn't look like it'll fit, but we'll type it out anyway. Children's activities. So we'll automatically correct, and what we'll do. Now the thing about headline three is it doesn't always appear, but that's okay. Um, family, family, Easter services, everyone welcome. Come as you are. Uh, let's just fix up that typo there. So you can get up to 90 characters and you can you can keep going. Uh, so if you want to talk about what the service is going to be like, um, if you want to talk about more about your church, uh, you can do all of that there. So again, um, free donuts and coffee uh, in our adventure playground. So again, it's just about what's going to happen in there, and we just want to make it as invitational as possible. Okay, and that's the ad. It's as simple as that. Very, very straightforward. Okay. So that is one ad. Now, here's the thing. We've got 25 keywords here, uh, and not all the keywords are going to be relevant, but I've, I've, I've chosen this as um, that's the dog barking. Okay, so this is the campaign's ready to go. There's lots of keywords in there though. For five dollars, you're probably not going to get a lot, uh, and your church may not fit some of the descriptions that are on there. So you can actually go ahead and edit some of these out if you want. Um, but again, I wanted to run a church near me, uh, and basically what it's done, it's looked at common phrases that are, are used in um, when people are searching. Um, so you can see churches that start at eleven near me find a Baptist church, large non-denominational churches near me. So it's really taking, it knows what people are searching for. Uh, so again, you can have a bit of fun here and play here. And um, really, uh, you could confirm it right now uh, and, and pay for it. I'm not going to do that. Um, really, really don't want to do that. But you can kind of see there's no end date. I can put an end date in there if I want. I'll pick the, the location. It's in English. $5 a day website traffic so we want to drive people to that Easter page on our website please pick an Easter page on the website uh, and then um, you know this is around phrases that people are going to say church near me so they're probably going to be on a mobile device and again have a bit of fun in that keyword planner uh, which I'm going to show you how to use in a moment um, but that's essentially a quick run through of how to set up a Google ad uh, in your city for Easter Hey, well, I've, I've run out of time. I wanted to show you so much more, but I hope you got a bit of um, usefulness out of that, and I hope that you can create an ad uh, in search and on Facebook. And again, these are two incredible uh, ways to get found online um, this Easter. And uh, you know, one way with Facebook, where you are in someone's feed, and um, and they're just looking, and you're engaging with them, and through search, when they're searching for churches or they're looking uh, for a church near near them uh, at Easter, your, your church will be there. Um, so those are just two very simple ways uh, to get your church found this Easter. Uh, if you want more resources, just head over to stevefog.com. I love sharing this sort of stuff with you. Uh, God bless you this Easter, and I hope 
uh, this helps.